It can seem like time stands still on St. Simons, but just like people, communities are constantly changing. When you're coming to St. Simons, the first unusual experience you have is crossing five miles of gold marshland. This is just one of them islands where people have a tendency to welcome you here. It's the whole thing. I mean, this is a real place where real people live. It's not a manufactured community. It seemed like the best place to raise our girls. When the tourists come here, it's still small enough and friendly enough that it's easy to live here. Young people are moving back here. There's a quality of life here that they can't find in other places. Just the beautiful oak trees speak to me that I'm home. People here routinely check with nature first before they make their plans. And it's changed a whole lot from the way it used to be. I can tell you the year everything seemed to change. 1994, all of a sudden I felt like we were discovered. The loss of the rural ambience of the island. People are blowing their horns now. Setback to setback. I think it's just going a little too fast. There's only so much land. As much as we love the place, everybody else loves it too. My question is, who is planning for St. Simons for the future? So, St. Simons, what's the plan? You want to keep it the way it is, y'all got to start working to keep it and get together. I think that we as a collective generation could do a little more. Density is the battle for the future on St. Simon. If we don't fix the things that accommodate growth, then it's not going to be good for us. It's time to act because when these undeveloped properties are bought for development, they're gone forever. What's essential is that there can be an open dialogue about the long-term planning that's meaningful and productive.